Move and the back of your head's gonna be so full of phosphorus, it'll be a war crime. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated games of 2021. For this list, we'll be looking at titles that have wowed us with their reveals and have generated big hype and expectations. Let us know in the comments section below which game you're going to be playing on day one. Number 10, Far Cry 6. Papa. Now, the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. This series has won fans over with its memorable villains, brutal action gameplay, and explorable open world, and the sixth entry into the franchise is shaping up to be the best one yet. They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. Optimized for next-gen consoles, we're going to be able to explore the fictional island of Yara with an amount of detail we've never seen before. A new addition to the series is a central city, which will add a much-needed urban environment to the fray. Third-person cutscenes and a villain who will have more screen time than we've previously seen in the franchise are making Far Cry 6 shape up to be an excellent sequel. Brilliant. Number 9, Hitman 3. It's apparent developers IO Interactive care about their fans. The passion they have for crafting a conclusion to the trilogy that lives up to the hype and standard set is more than evident. The third Hitman will take us to luxurious and AI-dense locations, giving us more tools and methods to assassinate than ever before, and having a darker story, one that wraps everything up nicely. From unfortunate accidents to the careful exploitation of a bad habit, you can trick someone else into doing the dirty work. If you haven't played the first two, now's the time to do it. Or you can wait until this and the others are available in PSVR and see through the eyes of a hitman. Master the art of assassination, and nothing can stop you. Number 8, Kina, Bridge of Spirits. You cannot hide your weakness from me. This one doesn't boast extraordinarily realistic graphics, but it looks to be taking full advantage of the PS5 hardware with its Pixar-like presentation that will appeal to almost everyone. The world is intriguing, the combat is fast, and the animations look incredibly fluid. Let's also talk about the rot. While they do have gameplay uses, namely to complete tasks and puzzles and to aid in combat, we just want to collect as many of them as possible because they're just so adorable. Number 7. Dying Light 2. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this game for so long and it got delayed. Okay, 2021, let's go. The original Dying Light and its DLC, the following, are fantastic entries into the zombie slaying video game genre, and we absolutely can't wait for Dying Light 2 to hurry up and get here. <laughs> It's been delayed a long time, so here's hoping it actually arrives next year. Set 15 years later, the sequel looks to improve the first game's experience in every way. You can make choices that affect the game world, but frankly, they seem like lose-lose situations, which serves to add more conflict to your playthrough. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. Number 6, Chris Tales. And as evil forces gather, I choose to fight, to reclaim the future, from those who would try to steal it from us. Okay, we get it, the new consoles are powerful, but graphics aren't everything. 
most of us prefer good gameplay. And if you want to make sure you get it, then you're going to have to get Chris Tales. Yes, it's got a gorgeous art style and mesmerizing music, but it also has time warping, which can be used inside and outside of battle. Want to see how your actions affect the future while simultaneously looking at the present and the past? You can do that. The battles themselves let you use these abilities to have an edge in combat. The turn-based system requires a lot of strategy, so the game will definitely get your brain working. Number 5. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 Make one mistake. No one's hands stay clean. The first Bloodlines is not only one of the best vampire games, but one of the best ever Western RPGs. This only makes the wait for the second game even more unbearable, especially after its delay. Expect all the things you loved about the first game, just better. Clans, exceptional dialogue and voice acting, multiple choices, it's all there. To accompany these elements are next-gen graphics, animations, and more fluid combat. If you ever wanted to roleplay a vampire, this will be as close as you're going to get, unless vampires are hiding among us for real. But I've waited so long. Number 4. Hogwarts Legacy Every corridor, every portrait, Every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Being a vampire is cool, but being a wizard is even cooler. This game is the closest we've come to a Wizarding World experience. The reveal trailer let us know that Hogwarts won't be the only explorable place we can roam, but we'll also be visiting many other magical locales. Your potential is limitless. Hogwarts Legacy is an open-world action RPG that's full of choices. Choose your house, choose your morality, and decide how you want to progress. The game is set to feature tons of creatures to tame or battle, full of cinematic moments. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Number 3. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart It has been a long time since we last saw the iconic duo, and their return couldn't have been timed better. Utilizing the PlayStation 5's solid-state drive, warping between worlds and Rift Apart can be done almost instantly, creating a seamless gameplay experience. Ratchet & Clank has always been about destruction, so with the PS5's controller and the haptic feedback it offers, you get to enjoy the large arsenal of weapons in a more fulfilling way. While 2016's reboot was well received, this entry looks to exceed expectations by miles. Number 2. Horizon Forbidden West So excited for this one. Whether or not you already have or are waiting to get a PS5, one thing's for sure, you're going to want to get this game. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. A sequel to the surprise 2017 hit, Forbidden West has you return as Aloy in the best looking next gen game yet, with a bigger map and a lot more traversal options. Now, we can explore the underwater depths, while also avoiding the dangerous aquatic bots. Let's just hope we can also ride flying machines. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Psychonauts 2, because we've been waiting an incredibly long time for this sequel. Senses are the magic keys. Deathloop because of its chaotic FPS gameplay. Ghostwire Tokyo, because it looks creepy yet fun as hell.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Resident Evil Village Capcom's zombie franchise needs no introduction. While Resident Evil 7's reveal may have been a mixed reaction, it's safe to say that we were all pretty much happy with it. Its return to survival horror roots and gameplay elements reminiscent of the earlier entries were welcomed. We give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Village looks to take what worked and go bigger and better in every way. With more exciting locations, varied enemy types, better graphics, and a continuation of Ethan's story, what isn't there to be excited about? Plus, we'll get to see what exactly is going on with Chris Redfield. Has he really turned into a villain? Chris? Sorry, Ethan. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.